Dominic Pierce with the Zombie Outpost here for another segment of Off the Shelf. Just got a bunch of crossbows in, and in this segment, I'm going to teach you how to assemble them. They do come disassembled in the box, and some of them do have a takedown model. However, um, making sure that this piece is put on this piece the proper way is very important to make sure that you don't get hurt and it functions the way you need it when you're ready to use it. So there are a couple pieces this comes with in a little plastic bag, and the Allen wrench being one of them. There's also two rubber pads and a metal plate. And we need to do that before we can get to these two plastic things and that string right there. We're gonna to need to loosen this little screw here out. So you wanna back that out. You don't need to take it all the way out, but you just need to clear the whole path in there. One rubber plate goes in the back here. And you're kind of making a sandwich in there. And your finger to kind of hold it in place. There's some white marks there that kind of guide it and hold it in. That's where you want to kind of center it on those white marks there. There's another rubber plate there. That'll just lay down in there. And there's the metal plate. The metal plate, there's a little divot in there, or a little hole that doesn't quite go all the way through. That goes on last, and the hole faces the screw part here that you're going to need to tighten with the Allen. Get it finger tightened in there, get everything lined up the way it's supposed to. Apply a little pressure with your finger. Once you have it in place, you take your Allen, making sure that that screw tip is hitting that little divot on the inside of that metal plate right there. So you're making a sandwich with the bow part. Here you have your rubber plate, rubber plate, and then metal plate. And that keeps all the shock and absorption off the actual metal or plastic components of it, as well as the crossbow piece itself. And you have that screw that starts hitting that metal plate where that little divot that was dug out in it is. Get a little finger tightened, get everything lined up. Make sure that your position this way and that way line up with those white lines. Everything is perfectly flush and level to the outside then just start tightening it. It's not gonna take a lot to make sure that that's good and tight, and it will be locked in there solid and make sure there's no play. If there's any play, check your plate, check your hole, and keep tightening. Eventually, everything will be locked into place, and it'll be very solid, and it's not gonna have any give up or down. Next part, you're gonna take your plastic ends here for the string. One goes on each end. And they snap on. Make sure they're facing the same way. And the thicker part is typically going to face forward. You can see how that thicker part is there. Thinner part towards the back. Make sure that those are on tight. And then you're ready to add your string. When you go to add your string, start on one side, bring it around, and then sometimes you may have to step on it to get around the other side. And we can bring this down on the ground. I can show you the easy way to get that string on. But as long as this piece here is set the way it's supposed to and it's done right, this will be safe and accurate and very reliable when you need it. So I'm Nick Pierce from the Zombie Outpost. Hope you enjoyed this segment of Off the Shelf. Stick around for how to string your crossbow next.